Want to continue our coverage right here from the Digital Operations Center. This is where all the live feeds have been coming in from Oklahoma. Search and rescue efforts are stretching into the second overnight shift, and teams even from the Central Coast are on the ground in Oklahoma, including two search and rescue dogs from a local shelter. Central Coast News reporter Rachel Lane joining us from joining us there from the Santa Maria Animal Center to explain here, Rachel, how important these search and rescue dogs are to the mission. Jazz, the training these dogs have to go through is extremely rigorous. A lot of the times the dogs won't meet the requirements to become certified. Some employees here at the Animal Center say it's very rare that two dogs from the same shelter have been sent to help. With the hours going by, chances are diminishing that anyone is still alive beneath this rubble. And still the resources are pouring in. While crews comb through the Oklahoma aftermath looking for signs of life, Four-legged search and rescuers, Elvis and Royce, traveled all the way from the Central Coast to lend a paw to help. They are searching through the destruction, um, looking for survivors, for dead bodies, um, for people that are injured, looking for people that are alive. Elvis is a seven-year-old chocolate lab and was given to the shelter after his family reportedly couldn't keep him confined. While four-year-old Royce was found as a stray, now both in Oklahoma, working with their handlers, hoping to save lives. They have the ability through all of the distractions and all of the different smells that they are experiencing right now to stay focused on their task. Stacy Silva says Elvis and Royce were first selected because of their high energy levels. Then they were evaluated. From there, they get a good idea on whether the dog would um, be able to catch on to what is needed, the, the drive and the determination to become a good search dog. To Elvis and Royce, search and rescue acts as a game. If they find a victim, they are rewarded. To have two of them coming from the same shelter, we're, we're very proud. At this time, we do not know if Elvis or Royce, along with their handlers, have made any rescues yet, but they are continuing to work throughout the night. Rachel Lane, On Scene in Santa Maria, your Central Coast News.